Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received an invitation from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to participate in the 32nd Arab Summit in Jeddah this month. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques for the invitation, wishing the summit success in achieving its goals and enhancing joint Arab action and unity. His Majesty praised the vital role played by Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques in defending the interests of the Arab nation, supporting its just causes and strengthening Arab solidarity. He also lauded Saudi Arabia's efforts in safeguarding the security and stability of the region. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gadebia Palace. His Royal Highness directed the Ministry of Finance and National Economy to disperse the salaries of all government sector employees on Sunday the 21st of May. The move aims to reduce the time frame between payments due to the early payment of last month's salaries and to assist government employees in meeting living costs. He also directed the concerned government authority to immediately accept 236 eligible retirement pension applications in the Kethwa Home Projects programme provided the government pays the additional contributions to ensure the pension fund is not affected. His Royal Highness directed that a government committee be formed to review 69 employee cases in the Ketra programme for home projects and to verify that they meet the criteria for retirement pension. The committee has been given one month to complete its work. The Cabinet congratulated the winners of the seventh edition of the Prime Minister's Award for Journalism, highlighting the contributions of the press as part of Team Bahrain in the Kingdom's overall development. The Cabinet also congratulated the winners of the 49th Bahrain Annual Fine Arts Exhibition and commended that the annual exhibition supports Bahraini artists and promotes initiatives that consolidate the Kingdom's position in fine arts. The Cabinet then hailed the new housing finance programmes winning the Best Innovative Programme Award for 2023 by the Middle East Economic Digest in the Middle East and North Africa region. In this regard, the Cabinet emphasised the importance of adopting innovative housing services to meet the aspirations of Bahraini citizens. The Cabinet discussed and approved the following memorandums during the meeting. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding two draft decrees establishing two diplomatic missions of Bahrain to the Philippines and Korea. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU for cooperation and development of healthcare, medical education and training between the Ministry of Health and the Arabian Gulf University. This initiative aims to organise the training and teaching processes between the two sides and cooperate in scientific research. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the Education and Training Quality Authority in Bahrain and Oman Authority for Academic Accreditation and Quality Assurance of Education to ensure the quality of the educational and national qualifications framework. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the designating of the Ministry of Municipalities and Agricultural Affairs as Supervisor of the Bahrain Green Building Council. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs and the Government's response to four proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. In addition, the Cabinet noted the following ministerial reports. The visit of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Collaboration of Libya to Bahrain. Bahrain's participation in the UAE Climate Tech Conference. Bahrain's participation in the World Utilities Congress held in Abu Dhabi. The Minister of Sustainable Development's visit to Japan as part of a high-level delegation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, Samir Nas, at Gadebia Palace. 
His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of the private sector as part of Team Bahrain in supporting the Kingdom's wide-ranging development, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted the importance of deepening the public-private partnership, which is a core pillar to meet the Kingdom's sustainable development goals. He highlighted BCCI's prominent role in representing the Kingdom's industrial and commercial sectors and their contributions to meet the private sector's goals. His Royal Highness noted the importance of developing plans and strategies to strengthen economic diversification efforts and create quality job opportunities for Bahraini citizens in the Kingdom in line with the Bahrain's economic vision 2030. For his part, the Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas, expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and noticed his commitment to supporting BCCI's efforts and work streams. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, Noga Holding, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the promotion of 359 employees of Arab Shipbuilding and Repair Yard Company, ASRI, based on the company's keenness to support and develop the capabilities of its employees. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the promotions aim to give qualified young national cadres more responsibilities and to rely on the capabilities to achieve more success and fulfil the visions of His Majesty the King to support and qualify young talents in line with the path of the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness noted that the promotions are considered the largest promotion movement the company has made and they hope that they will contribute to increasing the productivity of employees. He added that they also come within the framework of training and development plans and continuous performance evaluation of human resources, which target both genders, with the aim of equal opportunities in various departments. The Deputy first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the Royal Endurance Team for winning the 120km race, general and junior categories as part of the Spanish International Championship. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the victory builds on the achievements of the Royal Team in the international and European forums commending the role of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs and captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that the achievement reflects a level attained by the endurance sport and that it builds on the achievement of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in winning first place in the World Endurance Championship in Abu Dhabi. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated Royal Team riders Salman Issa, Manal Fakrawi and Ahmed Al Thawadi, who won the top three places, in addition to Abdul Arwahi, the champion of the junior category, wishing the team continued success. His Highness Sheikh Kala to participate in the 160 km contest, but his horse failed to pass the veterinary examination after the first stage of the race due to an injury. He followed up the other team riders, which motivated them to achieve positive results in both races. The Royal Endurance team members were crowned. The Royal team members hailed the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, which motivated them to achieve positive results in the championship. They also praised His Highness Sheikh Khalid's leadership of the team and his directives during the different phases of the races, which enabled them to give an honourable performance.
The executive and legislative authorities continue to hold joint meetings to discuss the draft law approving the state's general budget for the fiscal years 2023 to 2024. The meeting was chaired by the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Amasalem, Shura Council Chairman Ali Al Saleh and the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa in the presence of Ministers, members of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committees and both councils and a number of officials. The government team gave a presentation on public revenues and the plans and programmes to be approved by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning to implement a number of budgeted housing projects. The meeting also reviewed the housing finance services provided by the Ministry and the importance of sustaining the provision of housing services to citizens. The views of the members of the Legislative Authority on the draft budget were reviewed and the questions of the members of the Finance and Economic Committees of the two councils were answered. The meeting affirmed that the interest of the citizens is the priority and noted the importance of continuing coordination efforts between the two authorities to reach consensus to adopt the draft budget as soon as possible. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met the Saudi Minister of Investment, Khaled Al Fala. The Minister affirmed the depth of the historical relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and the developments on various levels. He referred to the keenness of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister to enhance integration between the two countries at various levels. Sheikh Salman reviewed cooperation between the two countries and the progress, especially in the field of investment. He stressed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen investment partnerships between the two countries to achieve common goals and contribute to reaching integration. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, headed Bahrain's delegation participating in the meeting of the Arab League's Economic and Social Council at the ministerial level, ahead of the 32nd Arab Summit held in Jeddah. The Minister delivered a speech during the meeting, in which he affirmed Bahrain's comprehensive developmental approach under the directives of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted Bahrain's commitment to achieving joint Arab action goals towards furthering sustainable economic and social development. He expressed thanks to Saudi Arabia for hosting the meeting, congratulating it on chairing the current session. He also thanked the Arab League Secretary General and all the General Secretariat's affiliates for their efforts to hold meetings. Sheikh Salman noted that Bahrain takes pride in the deep-rooted cooperation with the Arab League, affirming Bahrain's keenness on boosting joint Arab action for the interest of the countries of the region. He noted the importance of developing and implementing a number of joint projects in the fields of infrastructure, transportation and energy to add to the global GDP. He expressed Bahrain's welcome the Arab League's decision to re state Syria in its meetings. A number of items on the agenda related to economic and social affairs were discussed. The Minister of Municipality Affairs and Agriculture, Wael Al Mubarak, said that as many as 504 building permits had been issued between January the 1st and May the 7th through the Benayat system, covering a total area of 384,000 square metres. The Minister affirmed that the urban housing requests represented 75% of 380 permits out of the 504, followed by requests of special nature that make up 18% of 94 permits, while the number of investment buildings permits accounted for 4%. He noted that the Benayat building permit system issued 1,565 permits in 2022. Al Mubarak affirmed that the system improved the permit request procedures by 2.2 workdays out of five working days to the level of the service. The second meeting of the Coordination Committee in the fields of investment, environment and infrastructure between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia were held, chaired by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Mohammed al Khabi, and the Saudi Minister of Investment and Engineer, Khaled al Fala. Al Khabe affirmed the depth of the close historical brotherly relations between the two kingdoms, praising the keenness to strengthen joint cooperation frameworks in investment, environment, and infrastructure, 
and unite our efforts to continue the progress and development enjoyed by the two countries in light of the support of His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques. He stressed the prominent role played by the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, to enhance joint cooperation and exchange experiences. In the meeting reviewed the most important developments related to the initiatives that fall within the work of the Coordination Committee in the fields of investment, environment and infrastructure, as well as the efforts of the task forces formed to achieve more integration between the two countries. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakro, and the Korean Minister of Foreign Affairs, Park Jin, signed an agreement on air services. Fakro said that the agreement will contribute to improving bilateral cooperation in the field of air transport between the two countries. He emphasised Bahrain's leading position in aviation services in the region and that its commitment to developing cooperation in air transport globally is indicative of the tireless efforts of the Kingdom to further to develop our transport sector. The Speaker of the Azerbaijan National Assembly and Chair of the Non-Aligned Movement's Parliamentary Network, Sahiba Gafarova, received the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Alassoumi. Gafarova affirmed the depth of relations with Bahrain in particular and the Arab countries in general. She stressed her country's keenness to strengthen these relations at all levels and to support issues of common concern. Al Asumi praised the efforts made by the Azerbaijan National Assembly and the positive initiatives it presents to strengthen parliamentary relations and common ties between parliaments and legislative assemblies. <laughs>